For the first time, we're getting an inside look at the calculated planning of a murder by a mother and son in El Cajon. Surveillance tapes obtained by 10 News reveal the chilling exchange with the man they believe was a hitman. 10 News investigator Michael Chen looks at the brainstorming list for murder and the links one man was willing to go to to make his wife disappear. Inside this car and just outside of Walmart in El Cajon, June Pickard is shopping for a killer. I'm sorry, we're having me on this. Pickard thinks the man she's talking to is a contract killer referred by an acquaintance. We want to get rid of her. I mean, the woman is dead. The woman in her crosshairs is her daughter in law of three years, Rita Mansour. She's healthy and American. Bless her little heart. It's clear there's no love lost, and clearly Pickard loves Mansour's condo and bank account. She's sitting on $80,000 in her savings account. Pickard isn't wealthy and offers the man, an undercover El Cajon police officer, $1,000 in several installments. She's also been thinking about the method of murder. If we tried to strangle her, choke her, we'd have our handprints all over. We was originally thinking maybe something in the radiator and we'd might blow up. At one point in this parking lot, the question came up what should be retrieved from the body once the murder happened. The answer was a bank card. All we just need is that one DNA card back. The rest of them, take them, run them out to the max. Pickard is giddy with anticipation, and several days later, she and her son, Richard Noble, Mom, I love you, but can I say something? Meet with the supposed hitman to talk about how to get away with murder. If I was walking her to the car and we got jumped, I'm willing to take collateral injuries. Pickard has already hinted she wouldn't mind if Mansoor just vanished. We've already figured a story to keep her parents at bay for a while. Eventually, Noble suggests his own ideas on how to kill his wife a botched robbery or this. No and race crimes happen. Later, in a jailhouse interview, he seemed to blame his mother. I was stupid enough to follow someone out 